Um, I'm going to do a short video today um, about a book that I wrote back in 1992 called The Science of Miseducation. I'm just going to give, give you um, uh, some brief uh, information about the book. Um, one of the things that I did was um, I talked about the steps to miseducation. And when you take and you utilize these steps, it's, it, it's like science. Whenever you utilize these steps to any group, you're going to get the same results. You're going to get a destroyed child using these steps. And all you have to do is reverse the steps that's being used to us, and you can see clearly what's happening in the black children. And one of the things I did was um, I just gave brief examples of how you can destroy a child and how it's being done to us. Use tests to reinforce um, your beliefs that white people are, 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 um, are great. So what I would do is, just say if I had a school district of white children and black people operated the same way that white people operate school systems uh, um, on our children. So say I had a group of white children and I said, look, these tests are standardized tests. These tests will show how intelligent you are. But all the questions will relate to black people. You know what I'm saying? And, and if they don't understand um, uh, black life uh, or anything like that or, or, or black history, you know, um, uh, they'll, they'll fail. Um, today, black children will fail black history test too, but they won't do as bad, badly as white children. So you, you get the direction that I'm going in. Um, I would have them celebrate holidays um, that, that are foreign to them, holidays that have nothing to do with them. Um, and I have them take days off, celebrate those days, and anybody who refuses to celebrate my, my black holidays will be suspended, you know, be put out of school. Um, I will control who's gifted, who's smart, who's going to be the leaders in your group um, later on in life, you know what I mean? Who's going to go to college? Because if I'm deciding who's gifted and who's passing classes, then I'm deciding who's going to college. I'm deciding who's going to be the leadership, the future leadership in the white community. I have it all in the palm of my hands. Um, I would, I would, I would refuse to um, let you have uh, role models in school. I would separate the children from strong white men. You know what I mean? And just sit and not qualified to be in the school. Or if they're in the school, I might hire a few white uh, uh, men to to administer discipline. So my hands won't get dirty. The same way we did in plantation with overseers who later became officers, police officers. Um, let them do the dirty work. Let them punish each other. Um, I will also make sure that I have a cu curriculum in place so you won't start teaching white history on your own. So if you're following my curriculum all day, you won't have enough time. There's not enough time in the day to teach white history. And that's the way I want it. And I will let them know that they, white history, they can't get a job with white history. You, um, you can't get ahead in life. And anybody who was taught at home white history will be punished for being a racist in school and we'll send them home. And we'll tell them never to, never to come back with um, uh, 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 information like that again and be willing to present that type of information to other white students. Because we can't get other white students involved in knowing about their history. Because we'll have a problem. Because if they know white history, then they want to know, they don't, they're going to want to be taught white history. If they want to be taught white history, they're going to want white instructors. If they want white instructors, that means we got to hire more white people. If we got to hire more white people, that means less black people we can hire who are incompetent or who hate white children. You know, we got to have black people in the system who hate white children so that we can carry on our mission. Um, we will decide who's socially and emotionally disturbed. You know, we're going to decide who's socially and emotionally disturbed. We're going to have, we're going to create um, laws and standards that you have to follow by based on what we think is emotionally disturbed. We have to use standardized tests again to reinforce the idea that we are superior to white people. So what we'll do is we'll test the test. Any test that white people do well on, we'll trash and never use it again. Any test that black students do well, 
That's the standard test. That's the black standard. That's the standard we want them to live under. So if white students fail, you know what I mean, the, the, the black test, that's all on them. You know what I mean? That's just reinforced on why we should control the world. You know what I mean? We got to convince you that you're that you're dumb so that you will stay on the bottom and that you won't never question our intellect and our power of control over you. So this is just part one of a series that we're going to do on the science of miseducation. Um, brothers and sisters, just think about um, what we're talking about and peace.